All right, I'm here at AWS reInvent, and look who I have with me, Joshua and Amir. Welcome to the Robert Show, both of you. Welcome. Awesome. Uh, we're gonna talk about, since we are, I'm chatting with you like on the day four, I'm pretty sure you might be hearing a lot from the community, from the data leaders, from customers. Uh, we're also gonna talk about what you think about Gen AI. Sure. Uh, but first of all, your book just released, so congratulations on That's that. Right. Uh, do you want to tell a little about your book and when will it be available for everyone or is it yeah. already there? It just came out this week, literally went to print. So it's getting published in uh, in Europe and in India and, uh, and here in the US. Wow. Um, called Alteryx Designers with uh, O'Reilly. Um, it is meant to be like the book that uh, sets the foundation for people wanting to learn Alteryx. Okay. So beginners, intermediate, um, gets them up to speed. Hopefully, in the future, you'll see more and more books kind of not have to write about the beginner experience in Alteryx. Can't wait for the book and uh, we'll can't wait for, uh, wait for a signed copy. Uh, I think we can make this happen. <laughs> I think this could work. I know. Uh, also, Inspire is already planned for May, which will happen in Las Vegas. That's right. I'll be there, so I'm pretty excited about that. Do you all want to share what, what all uh, would you all be discussing at uh, you know, the Inspire, or any other plans that you all have for Inspire? I, I get really excited because I get to see a lot of my friends that I've been seeing years and years. Yeah. Um, but we also get to talk about kind of what we've done and what we're going to do and share, you know, the, the product roadmap. We get, uh, you know, our fearless leader in product, uh, Suresh Vital, talks about the kind of future of where Alteryx is going from a product point of view. I'm yeah. super excited yeah. about it. Amit, what do you think about Inspire and uh, are you excited about it? Yeah, yeah, yes. absolutely. It's always an exciting time when you can get a passionate group of users, right. right? And they come forward and all the trainings that we have and the innovations that are going to be made available. Um, it's one of those things where you get the palpable feel, you know, yeah. and it's one of those old school kind of raw user communities, which is amazing. Um, so we're looking forward to growing it, having a great time with everyone. Okay, fantastic. And a uh, quick question in terms of, uh, we all have been hearing about Gen AI a lot in the last three days, and uh, I think a lot of things in Gen AI is also getting matured. Yeah. Uh, customers, data leaders, prospects, they're looking for real use cases as well. And I know about it, and I, I spoke to Alex about it, and uh, you all are doing pretty interesting stuff in the Gen AI space. Also back, uh, you know, when I go back to Inspire London, I was talking to Libby about it, yeah. and she had such great insights to share about that. But what are your general thoughts about Gen AI, and how, how, will, how do you look at it in 2024? Any thoughts? Yeah, I mean, as uh, with everyone, right, it's one of those things that's top of mind, yeah. and it's going to continue to be top of mind. Yeah. And I think we're going to start to see a little bit more of the same type of mission that Alteryx went with first, yeah. right? Yeah. It's about the user, right? yeah. the experience. That's really what's being uh, brought to the forefront with all the AI and Gen AI conversations. Is yeah. How can we get this in the hands of users, and how can they use it to be more effective at what they do? Yeah. Um, so I think that's going to be one of the recurring themes. Uh, so stay tuned to see what we have in store as yep, well. It'll exactly. be interesting to see. No, um, what do you think, Josh? Yeah. I, so I want to second that, that first message. You really got to pay attention to where the product's going to come. It is um, it is all about, you know, Amir hinted at it, but it's all about making it tangible and practical for users. So right, it's, right. it's one thing to be excited about the potential, mm -hmm. but when you put it into the product and you make it part of an a user's everyday experience, yeah. that's where it becomes quite magical, and I think we've, we've got our head in that game just perfectly. Okay, fantastic. Can't wait, and uh, definitely looking forward to see what innovations Alteryx can have come up in 2024. I know there'll be massive announcements uh, at Inspire Las Vegas as well. I, I, I was talking to Mark in London, and he was like, just wait for Inspire uh, yeah. Vegas, and you'll see so many more features and the customers would be super happy but also the community yeah. they would love to learn more and more about data and analytics so can't yeah. wait for that um, one last question for both of you if folks want to reach out to you learn more about your community about your book about yeah. the stuff and the content that you all are creating where can they reach out to you yeah so a couple things as far as Alters goes come out to community.alters.com yeah that's where all of us are hanging out yeah um, all all the super users 
Um, we've got things like weekly challenges, but you can take training on there as well, connect with others, that, that sort of thing. I'm on LinkedIn, Joshua Burkow. Uh, you can come find me out there. Yeah. Yep. You can find me at all the same places. Uh, somewhat of a common name, so you gotta look a little harder. Um, but when you find it, reach out, happy to connect, happy to get you in touch with all the folks that you might need to. Uh, if you see us at various trade shows, you know, we're all over the place, so just keep looking and uh, we're always around. Thank you both. It was such a pleasure chatting with you both on the Robert Show and uh, definitely looking forward to 2024. See you soon. Thank you. Absolutely. Awesome.